Hello my angry nerds, this is Fanboy and welcome to your daily dose of StarCraft 2. This is a Legacy of the Void replay. Uh, it comes to you via Lycan League Weekly. It is a... I'm assuming a good sized tournament because that's the only replays I can find for Legacy of the Void that concern pro players. Let me introduce these pros. You have Dragon down the right hand corner. Yes, Dragon as our blue Terran. I was going to say Protoss. But here's our Protoss. You have Night End as our like green, like white ish green uh, Protoss. Uh, these guys I don't really know very well, so I wrote down. Uh, their greatest accomplishments. You have Dragon, uh, what I could find on Wikipedia. Uh, in 2014, he placed second, second and third in No Dice Tournament uh, 1 and 2. And then Night End, what I could find on him, uh, he uh, did place third in Dream or no he placed fourth in Dreamhack winner uh, 2011 and this year uh, he placed third in IESF World Championship so those are the two accomplishments that I could really find on these players outside of that I don't really know much about them but we're going to get pretty implement with them right now. Let's keep going and see what these guys are up to. You have uh, Night End. I almost called him Dragon. Wow, I can't speak today. Uh, you got Night End producing uh, adepts and using their ability to where he can blink ahead because their ability runs a hell of a lot faster than they do. So, you can get across the map pretty quickly. But, uh... I guess he's gonna use these two to scout, it looks like. Or no, he's keeping on producing the depths. So, we're gonna see... Ooh, he does not actually have warp... He doesn't have warp gate. That's odd. He hasn't started Warp Gate. That's weird. Uh, it looks like Dragon did uh, decide to uh, produce a Reaper. So there goes the KD-8 charge. Uh, the Mothership Core is here. And there goes a bunch of probes. Um, I'm pretty sure in this patch that they fixed that workers get, up, get back to mining automatically because when they first came out with beta, that wasn't always the case. But it's a Cyclone versus two Adepts. So who's going to win? Uh, I don't know who's going to win. It looks like uh, you can lock on to Adepts, so that's a thing. Uh, but those two Adepts are chasing down this... I thought they were. What happened? Did they just run out of range? Oh, who knows. But it looks like two Cyclones and an SCV are here. But it looks like Night In is looking for a macro game because he is expanding. Uh, so is Dragon. Dragon's expanding. So this may very easily end up being a micro game we'll just have to wait and see I guess but these these two players um, what I've read are pretty good at their respected races I don't know how good they are at Legacy of the Boys uh, Cyclones cannot target air that I do know they can only target ground um, in the very early part of this beta I'm pretty sure uh, cyclones could target air and ground. At least that's what I remember, at least. 
but these two cyclones are going home. Uh, most likely to deal with these two adepts wherever the world they win. Oh, there they are. Um, they're both dead now. So that's the thing. Uh, you do have an observer coming in for Night End. But you have. Oh my goodness, never mind. You may not have. What in Green's Earth is Dragon up to? Dragon's literally taking all of his SCVs, or at least a large portion of them, from his main and going straight for uh, Night End's base. But you have two adepts moving on to the top side of the good old base. That's why that mothership core is really kind of busy destroying destructible debris. So this is going to be interesting. You got SCVs versus a mothership, an overcharged nexus, and a couple of depths, and a bunch of marines, and two mar three marauders. So who's going to win? I wonder. It's kind of close, actually. It's a lot closer than I thought. Oh, you got a widow mine too. Here. Uh, where's that widow mine gonna be buried? Or is it gonna be buried? Period. Oh, there it goes. Um, the nexus for night end uh, does go down, but these two adepts. One has ten kills. If I can click on the other one, there you go. Has one has ten, and one has five. But you can, I guess, cancel the ability when it... Wow, that's interesting. I didn't know you could actually cancel it. I don't know. But there's a large force of Adepts and a single Immortal. You can tell that we're not on the newest patch because the Immortal actually has a body and not a little round, like, dome, half dome looking thing that's moving across the ground. So, yeah. I just did cast a game where uh, it was... I No, it was QXC and Virtue. And... One of them built... Uh, oh, what's their... What are they called? Uh, I'll get back to that here in a minute. Here comes the adepts. They're trying to get a nice surround and they do they do get a good surround on all of they get right in the middle of the all these marines and those marines are pretty much dead there's only two left there's one left uh there's two more that come down and a bunch of SCVs and mules for some strange reason uh but it looks like they the adepts do get in um before uh Dragon can open up or close that uh, depot right there, and that immortal is coming in, and there's a bunch of adepts that have joined the rest of them, and so you've got a massacre on your hands, and Dragon does the GG before he loses pretty much everything. But back to what I was saying, uh, one of them, and I forget who plays. It, I think it's Nurchia that plays Zerg, if I remember correctly. He built a bunch of, uh, oh, what are they called? Dang it, I can see in my head. Uh, big chompy looking things. Uh, my goodness, I'm going to blink on it, and I'm going to feel sorry for myself all day long for it. Uh... <sighs> What are they called, damn it? This is going to be driving me nuts now. They're not lurkers. I want to call them lurkers, but they weren't lurkers. Uh, have jaws, but they were, besides the point, they were, like, literally glitching. So they were literally floating on, on air. Really, and it was quite the funniest looking thing. I'm glad I captured it. So, yeah, that's the thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this game, and if you want to see what I was talking about, very undescriptively, 
uh, go and check out my Nurchio and QXC game that I am going to be uploading. Probably before this, I hope. Uh, if not right after this game. And you can see what I was talking, trying to describe very, very badly. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you liked it, hit that like button and possibly the subscribe button if you really, really liked it and want to see more. I will see you guys in the next cast. Bye!